Hey guys, welcome back to some more Metal Gear Solid 3. We've got a lab to infiltrate. And... That will involve first bypassing this electric fence and also taking out this little uh, doggo who is probably going to try and ruin our day. Um, there's also a guard somewhere. There he is. There's the man. Um, <clears throat> luckily we found a shit ton of suppressors for our lethal pistol and we've we've got one still for our trank gun so and i would feel bad killing a doggo more than i would killing an actual dude so we're gonna just gonna learn how to speak first and then we're gonna shoot these dudes and just put them to sleep why do i always fucking miss with these goddamn headshots i'm absolutely terrible well, I'm actually hitting the fence Just there. Imagination. There we go. God damn it. Right, what have we got in the uh, in the grass? Little birdies. And yes, all my food has gone off again. Um, so I might as well just get rid of some of that before we try and collect anything. Um, so yeah, our tarantula's gone off. Gutted, because I really wanted to eat that. Not really, though. The fish, yes, I wouldn't mind. Of, you know, trying that, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. We've still got plenty of food. And, uh, yeah, I do want to keep some rotten stuff... ...on me. Uh, oh, shit, that's captured alive, isn't it? Shit. You know what? We're gonna eat... I know we don't need to eat right now. But we're gonna eat the, the rabbit. Okay? We're gonna eat it, even though this pains me, because it's so cute. Pretty tasty. So yeah, we, we like the rabbit. I thought that'd be the case. And now we've got ourselves uh, a bird C, which is a red Advanat. Sorry, Advad... Ad... Avadavat? Avadavat. I can't read. I can't... I, I just... It's late, guys. It's late. I've done nothing today. And I thought, you know what? I really do need to record more of this. Because the videos haven't been very frequent. And of course my computer problems did make that worse. But still. Um, that dog has not seen me. There's another guard? Oh shit guys there's another one. Oh fuck. And I'm only 60% camoed. This is bad. We need to, uh, need to get some tiger stripe on the go. And the face is fine. The face is good. So, we are going to take out this mofo in one shot. Thank you very much. Can we shoot the doggo through the gate? Yes, we can. Even though it totally looked like it deflected off. Um, Alright, so I think that's all we need to worry about in the, uh, in the perimeter of this place. Oh, hello, Mr. Snake. That's a Taiwanese uh, something or other, isn't it? I'm not going to pick it up, I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't attack me. Uh, this suppressor is about to break. Alright, so how do we get through this fence? Well, as the as is often the case... Oh, is that a milk snake or is that a coral snake? I ain't trusting it. It was coming towards me, you saw it guys. Just going to have a little nap. And yes, yeah, so there's always a hole in the fence. Always. They really do need to uh, keep up with maintenance better. Right, now there is a hole in this wall we could use. I think there's a door around the other end, but that's a tad more risky. Oh shit, the dog woke up. Holy fuck, they do not sleep for very long. I thought dogs slept like shit tons. Or at least Max does. He sleeps all the goddamn time. Alright, anyway. Is there anything... What's this? Oh, thank god, another suppressor. Not really for the gun that I want them for, but... Oh well. Alright. We are now inside the walls. And yeah, there's at least two guards I can see already. That's great. We've got some trucks. Cardboard boxes in said trucks. 
And two dudes. In fact, there's an item under one of the trucks that I'm going to grab. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's see if we can do this. Oh, shit! You would fucking break right then! Just as I was holding the goddamn trigger. Oh, shit. Go to sleep. Oh, shit. Well, this has gone well. <laughs> Holy shit. Get under that truck, Snake, before anyone else pops up. Oh, I see him. I see him on the left there. Oh, well, that just... Ugh. I knew it was going to break soon, but I didn't think that soon. Oh, shucks. And yeah, they're waking him up. Okay. That's not too bad, though. The caution's over. They just think that they... Sponta I mean, maybe narcolepsy is, like, really common in guards in this area, because they just don't really seem to be fussed that two of their own dudes suddenly just fell asleep instantly and had a big fuck-off dart in their faces. But uh, I'm going to put them to sleep again now that my suppressor is not going to break on me. Where's the other dude? I just want to put them to sleep so I can... Oh, no, 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 no. Go to sleep. Oh, my God, I missed. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God, this is going terribly. Wow. Maybe recording late at night is not the answer for me. But maybe it makes it more fun for you guys. I don't know. Anyway, they're, they're uh, catching some Zeds. This is the lab. This is what we need to get inside. Once we are inside, though, it's really not a big deal. Because we can wear the scientist disguise that Eva gave us. But it won't work on the outside, so... Uh, there is a couple of ways we can get in here, from what I remember. I think there's another freaking hot... Yeah, there's a vent opening here that we could use if we wanted to. Um, got some claymore mines. I really want to get as many uh, of the items in this location as possible. Because I've missed so many items in this playthrough so far that I've like mentally said to myself that I really want to grab and then I just completely forget about. But I'm glad we did find those thermal goggles, because they are going to come in so handy. Good night, Macy. I hope there's no one else around. But isn't it so peaceful? The sound of the crickets and a frog in the window. Why did they board that place up? How very strange. Right, well that's the door that I usually take to get in. I'll probably would... Yeah, I probably will do again. Anything behind here? I think that's where we could have come in from the outside, but I didn't. Um, I guess there's nothing else. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh, can we not climb up those? Shit. Thought maybe we could get up on the roof. I really have been playing too much MGS5. It has spoiled me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a goddamn... Oh, no. Still can't get up there. Oh, well. What's over here? Nothing. Storage shed. Oh, we've got ourselves an M16. Oh, as I scratch my eye. Awesome. Toggle firing mode with the triangle button. Would be great to find a suppressor for that. Okay, well that was uh, that was worth checking out. Got ourselves a new weapon for when shit inevitably hits the fan. Right, so I'm just gonna mosey on in here and immediately go to the menu and get my disguise on. 
because I do not want to be spotted without it. Obviously. So, uh, camouflage, face, no paint. Because that would look weird. That would be very weird, a scientist with blackface. Um, I still don't think we look particularly like a scientist. Like, do all scientists wear those kind of bandanas? And we, we must be the most hench, jacked up, buff scientist of all time. And we can't ever walk in an unsuspicious manner. I mean, look at this shit. We are totally not, like, trying to <laughs> get ourselves caught here. But yeah, the these officers shouldn't uh, shouldn't bother us. It's if we do find any other scientists, they will kind of, like, realise that we are not one of them. Um, so let's have a look around, shall we? We've got some nice pictures on the wall. I can't read Russian, so I have no idea what that says. Uh, I'm not sure if running and... Running makes you more suspicious. So really, we're doing our best uh, Agent 47 impression here. Uh, there's nothing, nothing in this room. Okay. All right, where do we go? I can't remember very well the layout of this building. Oh shit! That would be another scientist. Don't really want him getting too good a look at us. Let's just try going the other way. Um, also, I think cardboard boxes is probably a good way to go in here. If uh, if stuff really goes bad. So we do have that equipped. Let's have a look in here. Oh, I remember this room. I remember. Um, but anyway, while we're disguised as a scientist, let's see if anyone has anything to say to us. Let's see if Eva's recovered from her uh, close encounter with Volgin. No, still no response. Oh, damn, she has it rough. She really does. Sigint? No, let's talk to the Major first. I see you're disguised as a scientist. It suits you rather nicely. Thanks, man. As long as you don't do anything suspicious, like roll or crawl, ah. the enemy should have no reason to suspect you. Sokolov is somewhere inside that lab. Find out where he is and make contact with him. If you want to know where Sokolov is, why don't you ask one of the people around there? I can actually talk to people? Really? Oh, I might try that. I see you caught yourself a green tree python. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really fussed about that. I mean, that actually looked like it might have been a humorous conversation, but we'll never know. So you're wearing the scientist uniform? I am. Wearing that scientist outfit lets you pose as a scientist. What? But no. be forewarned, you can't equip most of your weapons while you're disguised as a scientist. Even when you're disguised, your cover will be blown if you get blood on your clothes or something. Ah. If you do get blood on your clothes, take them off and switch to another outfit. The blood stain should come out after a little while. <laughs> If only clothes were like that in real life, eh? Just don't wear them for a little bit. Everything will come out. You don't need to wash them or anything. Okay, can I talk to this dude? How would I even talk to him? Because I'm terrified that if I press the button, I'm going to punch him or something. Oh, you can put your glasses back on. There we go. See? I'm a scientist. I'm nerdy. Nerd. Hello? You're not going to talk to me? Hi. Hi there. Huh? Hey! What? Ah! Whoa! Holy shit, dude! <laughs> I mean, at least I landed on a soft surface. I'm just going to chill here for a bit, guys. You don't mind if I take a nap? Being a scientist is hard work, man. I don't quite believe that, because I was in his way. He just fucking kicked me. That's amazing. Thanks, man. I'll, I'll remember you. I'll fucking remember you, mate. Uh, is this where I need to go? I think this leads down to the cells. B1 West. Hmm. 
I know for a fact there are some prison cells here. Peekaboo. No, no one there. There's an officer that I'll try not to uh, get in the way of. At least, though, I don't think you can lose your disguise if you run into the guards like you did in MGS2. The scientist uniform actually fits me. Ooh! Sig gas spray. Puts enemies to sleep, press square to hold, release to emit gas. So that is a nice non-lethal way of taking out dudes as a scientist. You can actually equip that, I think. I don't know why these guys have that here. Excuse me, sir. Can I, can I get past you, please? It's a very nice office you have. Thank you. What are you reading, anyway? Oh my god, it's Game Informer! And Game Pro! Metal Gear Solid 3! God, the massive fans of the game, apparently. Oh shit. Oh, this is the way we're supposed to go. Oh, hang on then, hang on. No, we're not going to go this way just yet. No, 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 no. Can you open this? Hmm. Uh, no, that is that is actually where we're supposed to go, so I just want to make sure we do a complete sweep of the building before uh, before we get any story stuff. <laughs> Look at the way he runs upstairs. I love it. Alright. Just try not to run into any guards, really, if I can help it. Um, I'm hoping this scientist dude is going to leave me alone. If I don't get too close. Oh, I do want to check out that room. Hmm. Ooh. I wonder if there's going to be any... Oh, an another froggy! Another froggy. Can I... Am I going to be suspicious if I open a locker? I hope not. Oh, six spray bullets full. I should think so. I've only just picked it up. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever really used it that much, though. In all my time playing this game, I just I just find it a bit risky. I mean, in certain situations it might be useful, but I don't know. Oh, look, there's a little garden! Isn't this nice? I would chill the fuck out here. I mean, the, that tree's seen better days, but... And there's rats running about. But yeah, you can uh, you can check out the vents. I think that would probably just lead to where we found that uh, opening before, maybe? There might be even some items in there, but I don't know. We're just going to leave that. Oh damn, we opened that door so loudly. Right, let's try this room. Hopefully the scientist dude is going to be sensible and not rat us out. Is there anything in this room, though? Ooh. Bandage. Just looks like healing supplies, but what's round to the other side? Just more healing supplies. Well, I'm not fussed about that. Let's just leave. Not even going to attempt fate. Uh, let's check upstairs first. Okay, no scientists. That's good, that's good. Excuse me, sir. Uh, anything round here? Oh, another uh, storage cupboard. Oh, food! We don't really need. We've got, like, so much food, it's ridiculous. What's this? Oh, it's a book! Oh, nice. We can distract the guards with the book if we need to. Is it a dirty... Is it a dirty book? Can we check? Oh, is it a weapon? Okay. Uh, well, first of all, I'm gonna... No. So, yeah. Okay, let's... Let's equip that just in case. I don't know why I'm still carrying the TNT around. Um, 
and a book. Publication with adult orientated material full of girly photos and interesting columns. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I bet. I, I, I highly doubt that last bit. But, um, but anyway, there you go. We found it. It's cool. Uh, so, let's go back downstairs. Oh, hang on, there was still this way. Didn't we? we didn't go this way. Oh, shit. There's going to be another scientist dude in here. Oh, no, there isn't. Yes! Suppressor for my trank gun! More goddamn game magazines. I love that. I love little details like that. Nothing else. Who's, who's that? Who's that? I don't know. Sorry, I, I feel like I'm not really accomplishing much here, but I do want to explore this whole place. We found the bogs. We found the shitters. Be an ideal place to hide someone if uh, we were so inclined. Oh, that's locked. Is someone in there? Excuse me, I really need to go. Oh shit, there was a uniform in there. Oh my god, I don't know if I've ever found that one before. Let's check it out. Fly. Stinky cat, oh my god. It's turds. There is a turd camo in this. How have I not ever seen this before? I don't remember seeing this before. You find it in the toilet. That is fucking amazing. This game is incredible. Dude. Dude. Stinky cat. Oh my god, this is this has made my life. That's awesome. Oh shit. Oh, fuck me. There's a giant fucking spider. Oh my god, no. Hell no. Hell no. Nope. Oh, lots of lockers to check. Open the locker, snake. Can't actually see if there's anything in here. It's fucking dark, innit? It's fucking dark, innit? It's very poor lighting in this particular... Oh, there we go. No. Oh. oh, okay, we're full. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, there must have been another door. Where are there? Oh! There's a little balcony. How... Very nice. I, oh, that'd be a good escape route, actually. You just jump over the balcony and boom, you're, you're out of the building. That's cool. We don't need to bother about it, but it's, it's a nice, nice to know. Right, let's actually go do something we're supposed to do. Which is go downstairs. Where are the stairs? This way. Hey. I'm not sure. I'm. I wonder if you can talk to the scientists. Because there's not. I don't seem to be. I mean, maybe the colonel. Uh, the colonel. The major was just saying that just to be a dick. But I'm not sure you can talk to these people. Because. Yeah. Definitely don't want to punch him. <laughs> oh, that ro oh, that is great. That's so good. B1 East. Now, I'm not sure if we can actually get to where we need to go from here, but we'll check it out anyway. This might actually be where the cells are. Yeah, it's looking like it is. Yep. Hello. Uh, check your route. What the fuck happened? Did the door hit him? On his ass? On the way out? Really? What's under there? Anything good? Oh, it's just shotgun ammo. And sniper ammo, which we don't need. We don't need that. What the hell happened to the guy? 
I thought I was in trouble then. I really did. I almost shit myself. No one gonna ask what a scientist's doing down here? Guess not. Ooh. What's that under there? Ooh, there's an, there's an actual, like, vent. Hello, Haruna Yabuki. And hello, Mr. Karatan Frog. And a mousetrap. Okay. Um, yeah. I guess I could check that out if I wanted to. I'm not going to, though. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe I should. I don't know. I kind of want to see what's in this. But i just got to be careful because I don't want him to see me going in there. Let's do it. Some life medicine. That's actually pretty good. Gosh, I don't know which way to go. Not that way. Oh, we have to eat something soon. My stamina's going down a little bit. Okay, that just gets me back in that cell. I know that I know this is pretty pointless stuff, but it's been so long since I've explored this area, I I kind of just want to take it all in. Right, that's a locked cell. Not much else in there. I bet this is completely pointless. I bet this is a dead end. Yep, pretty much. Okay. Well, I at least I know now. At least I know. There is fuck all in these vents. I just need to be very careful on my way out. Because I do not want to be suspicious. Oh shit, that would be a very bad time to emerge. Let's do it, let's be risky. Yes, living on the edge. <clears throat> what the fuck? A spider on the floor! A spider's fucking bit me! Dude, how did it bite me on the chest? It's on the f Okay, whatever. Uh... Thanks for that, Mr. Spider-Man. Can't I just fucking stamp on him? It better have bit that guard. Goddamn spiders. <laughs> there was a huge one the other day. I was just coming in from the pub. And on the, on the inside of my front door... The biggest fucking spider I've ever seen. It was mahusive. It was the size of a sheep. So I stamped on it until it was very dead. And uh, cried a little bit. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's that time of the year now where you get these big ass spiders coming in and... Ugh, horrible. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't want to deal with spiders. In real life, or in video games. I'm gonna eat some food. I'm gonna eat that red avidivat. Or whatever you however you say it. No good. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, I mean, uh, that got us back a little bit of stamina. Okay, not very tasty. And it is pretty small, so I guess it wouldn't be very filling either, but... Hey-ho, at least we can capture something fresh now. Right, now again, we need to be careful in this room, because there is uh, there is a bunch of sci scientists. That if we face them or get too close, they will... ...rat us out. Oh, I wonder what's in those lockers. Look at that awesome TV! Glorious resolution. Just nice little touches to remind you that you are actually in 1964. Hello. Um, is he going to let me go open these lockers? Ah, the knockout handkerchief. Maybe that's what you can use as a scientist. Maybe not the sig spray. 
No, I think you can still use the six spray. Um, puts enemies to sleep in CQC. Nice. Bit of the old chloroform. Handker. Nice. God, the sound of opening and closing of doors is definitely unnerving sometimes. Even though I'm in, I'm in disguise, it's... What's in this locker? Anything? Nope, nothing. Okay. It's a very nice conference room, though. Very nice. Stop running on top of things. Oh, now this is this is where shit gets done. The problem is there is a billion scientists in here that are going to be very difficult to get past. How do I do this? Ah, maybe now. Huh. I'm running. <laughs> Didn't see anything. I just got a suppressor for me M16. Right. Cutscene time, guys. Ah, that classic Metal Gear theme. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. Zone of the Enders oh, thing in the background, though? The intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. <laughs> and who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. You're crocked, aren't you? <laughs> I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank. A robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? Yes, there it is! <laughs> the 
but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes. Sokolov's pathetic Shagohan pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. The tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. <laughs> no. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright, that is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? I'd have to agree, actually, yes. But the fool's in charge chose Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The Philosopher's Legacy. Haven't you heard of the Philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, they somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohan project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohan is there too? Of course. Hey, you're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. There was. Do you remember it? I do. Uh... This key will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting 
has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. We must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! <laughs> I like that dude. I've always liked that dude. It might be because he's drunk, but he seemed pretty cool. Even though he is really the, the cause of all the the Metal Gears in the world. Um, but hey, it's uh, it's a necessary evil for an awesome game series. Someone's in here. The fuck? What the hell? Get out of here! <laughs> I have nothing more to say to you. Oh, well, that's a shame, because you were pretty cool. Uh, right, so, yeah, we've got to get out of here now, head back to the warehouse, and uh, and get through that locked door that we now have the key for. Uh, this is where I'm going to end it, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shut up, Granin. I'm trying to do an outro here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Next time, yeah, we'll go do that stuff. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, so uh, look forward to the next one, and I'll see you then. Shut up!